Hi, my name is Jenny Bati, and I'm the Communications and Engagement Specialist for Orion Township. Today I'm at on TV studio, which is connected to the Orion Center. The Orion Center is still completing repairs from the recent flood that they had, but I want to let you know that the building is open and classes are still running as scheduled. Today I want to thank you for joining me on this episode of Orion Update. You're going to hear from a couple members of our Parks and Rec team about some new and exciting programs that they have coming up. So we're going to start with Chelsea and hear about some senior programming. Chelsea? Thanks, Jenny. Hi everyone, my name is Chelsea and I am a recreation programmer here at the Orient Center. My responsibilities include uh, all those that are 50 and over, ages 50 and over. Um, so if you're not aware, we have this handy dandy newsletter. Uh, it's called Active Aging, it has a new name and it's for anyone that is 50 and over. So please go on our website, take a look at it, orionparks.com. Under Active Aging, you'll find this newsletter. It comes out monthly. Uh, to do any of our programs, you do have to be a member here at the Orient Center, uh, but that is free and you can be resident, non-resident. Uh, so come in, introduce yourself, we'll give you a tour. Some things we have coming up that I wanted to touch on uh, that I think are pretty cool for our community. The first being uh, we are going to the DIA in June, Wednesday, June 21st. This is a free field trip for our seniors. You do pay for it in your taxes, so take advantage of it. There'll be a bus coming over to the Orient Center picking you up and we're going down to the DIA for the afternoon. Um, also we have a fun Cinco de Mayo lunch on Friday, May 5th. It's going to be a great fiesta. Uh, we're going to have food and we're going to have entertainment. Our, actually our ukulele club is going to be entertaining everyone at the lunch. So this is going to be a great event as well. It's $5 for residents, $7 for non-residents and then again it's Friday, May 5th at noon. Um, so, I, like I said, feel free to take a look at this active aging on our website or come into the Orient Center and grab one. We always have them right here in the lobby. This has some great information. If you've been stuck at home or feel like you don't have anything to do in our community, I will assure you, you have plenty of do here at the Orient Center. So we'd love to have you. Um, so come, come in and check us out. Thanks. And back to you, Jenny. Seems like there's a lot of great things happening with the senior programming over at the Orion Center. Now to change gears a little bit, we're going to jump over to Tyler, who's going to tell us a little bit about the leagues and what they have coming up. Thanks, Jenny. Um, I am Tyler Carpenter. I am a recreation programmer here with Orion Township Parks and Rec. Um, right now we are very busy with our spring leagues kicking off. We have lots of sports that are starting this week. We have soccer, baseball, and softball that are kicking off. Our seasons run from beginning of April through um, mid to end June. And if you did miss the spring season or you do want to um, play with our fall, we do have our fall leagues that open May 1st. And parents, we are always looking for additional coaches and officials. So if you want to spend some more time with um, your, your children and want to get more involved, please contact us because we are always looking for um, more coaches and volunteers with our programs. We also have our eSport leagues that are doing leagues and camps that are coming up. Those go over various games like uh, Fortnite, um, uh, League of Legends, um, the Smash Bros tournaments. So they cover all of those games. The equipment is provided as top-notch equipment with professionally trained coaches in all of the programs that will teach your um, your players more about the game and how to work as a team, not just sitting there playing video games. They do get to learn more about teamwork, working with people they may or may not know, whether it's friends or other players on their team. Um, and then we also have um, adult cornhole leagues that are kicking off in the middle of May. They do um, fill up. So if you register your team now, you'll be able to get a spot, but they do fill up. So make sure to sign up um, as soon as possible. And back to you, Jenny. I'm surprised I was even able to pull him away with how busy he is and everything that's going on with all those leagues. Now we're going to go back to Chelsea to hear about a new program for mothers that is starting this year. Thanks, Jenny. All right, we're so excited because we have a brand new event coming to Orion Township Parks and Rec. It is called the Motherhood Matters Health and Wellness Expo. It is going to be on Thursday, May 11th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. right here at the Orient Center in our dining rooms. Uh, we are partnering with 
Ascension Providence, Rochester, and we are going to be having anyone who is a new mother here. We're going to be talking about breastfeeding, car seat safety, choking, safe sleeping. It's going to be seminar based, and then after that, we'll have a ton of different vendors here at the di at, in the dining rooms. Um, everything from a chair massage to getting your nails done to uh, different vendors in the community talking about anything children, baby related. Uh, it's going to be a great event, so please check out the flyer that's going to be coming through. Uh, sign up and register so we know how many people are going to be coming. We can plan on how much food to have. Uh, we are also very thankful for our sponsors for this event. Heartfelt Impressions will be providing the child care in our lower level. So if you have a child from two to seven years old, uh, feel free to bring them. We will have plenty of things for them to do downstairs. And also very thankful for uh, G's Pizzeria. They are gonna be providing the food for everyone that comes through. So make sure if you're a new mom to come over to the Orient Center on Thursday, May 11th at 5.30. Uh, you don't wanna miss this great new event we have for the area. And back to you, Jenny. Thanks, Chelsea. Now we're going to head on over to Aaron Watley and hear a little bit about some of the recent projects that have been completed and the ones that you're going to look forward to this summer. Hey, thank you, Jenny. Uh, my name is Aaron Watley. I am the director of Orion Township Parks and Rec, and I'm here uh, talking about some awesome things that we have going in the community. So um, a few projects that kind of are wrapping up from last uh, season, 2022. We have our mountain biking course out at Friendship Park. There's two courses out there. One is uh, kind of a beginner intermediate area or a beginner area where you'll get to learn the terrain, do some uh, smaller rock sections. And the other one is more of a intermediate, um, kind of a little more advanced area. And that's towards the back area where we have cool tabletops and bridges and rock gardens. Uh, banking turns, great opportunity to get out there. Um, so it is technically open. We're waiting for the weather to get a little nicer before um, the ground to firm up and then you can get out there. We'll be also offering some classes uh, to learn how to do some mountain biking. Um, another project that's wrapping up is the fitness course over at Civic Center Park. And it's an adult fitness course uh, technically kind of like a, a ninja warrior course very similar to that so kids can go out and play on the the great playground we replaced a few years ago and now the adults can get out there and do some exercise and have a little challenge course as well um, out at friendship park from last year we installed two pickleball courts one tennis court and so restoration work surrounding the grounds is happening this spring but the courts are open, ready to go. We'll be having leagues, free play, uh, great opportunity. The other uh, courses, multi-use courts, are out at Jesse Decker Park. Um, and these ones out at Friendship are designated for pickleball or tennis. So great opportunity. If you haven't played pickleball, make sure you get out and do it. Super fun. A um, few projects for this year. We have, we just authorized the contract for the uh, beach expansion out of Camp Agawam. We're going to really start investing some dollars in the area. Um, so the beach expansion would be extending the beach about 50 feet to the south, adding a small retaining wall, um, just really utilizing that space a little better. Um, and then we also were looking at putting an accessible kayak launch in that area and then doing uh, some serious renovations to Peterson Lodge. So all told, um, if we're successful with our grant application, we're going to be putting close to $2.5 million into that area. At least we'll be uh, $1.5 million focused towards that area So for 2023. Um, a few other things. We did receive a grant. Uh, someone in our office, Chelsea, which you probably just heard from her. Uh, she's amazing. She applied for Oakland County uh, Senior Center grant for $250,000. And so we'll be doing a little bit of match dollars on that, but we'll be uh, activating an outdoor space at the Orion Center. It'll be a beautiful outdoor patio deck with uh, walkouts from our banquet room, 
great area for weddings, outdoor space, activities, classes, uh, a great, great space. Um, and then Charity Pavilion just submitted a grant to the DNR. Uh, we'll be applying for $300,000 for renovating our Charity Pavilion out at Civic Center Park. So we'll be contributing some funds to that. We're optimistic that we can get that and really bring some accessibility to that uh, kind of outdated pavilion area. Um, last thing I would mention would be, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the Township Master Plan. So we have been diligently working to complete all of the projects that the community wanted over the last uh, four or five years and now it's another opportunity for the community to tell us the direction you want us to go. It is uh, really a, a roadmap for us to, uh, for programming, for capital outlay projects, for the direction trends, uh, what the community wants to see with your, your tax dollars. So we work for you and it's a great resource for us just to, uh, to constantly use it as a living document for where we're going to travel over the next five years. So keep an eye out for tons of opportunities to get your feedback in. Uh, feel free to stop by the Orient Center or Township Hall, give us some feedback. Um, a lot of opportunities coming in 2023. So, whew, I think that's it. There's a lot more stuff happening. Those are just off the top of my head, uh, but we really appreciate Orient's support. Uh, we're here for you. Make sure you get out, use the uh, trails, green space, uh, recreation space. Um, thanks for all your support, and it's back to you, Jenny. Thanks, Aaron. Parks and Rec stays busy throughout the entire year, so if you want to stay up to date on the latest programs and information, make sure to follow their Facebook page at Orion Township Parks and Recreation, as well as checkorionparks.com, and also be sure to look at Orion Living Magazine, which has updated class information as well as programming. And that's it for this episode of Orient Update. Thank you for joining me and we'll see you next time.